Ever feel that excitement when you discover an incredible spot that seems hidden from everybody else? We've got that feeling with several spots in our list of SGV's essential eats. Often overlooked in favor of LA's more famous dining destinations, SGV is actually home to some of the best food in LA. To save you time, we've curated 24 top picks just for you. So check out this list and start adding these must-visit spots to your bookmarks. Yumiyaki in Roland Heights is a sister restaurant to Mikia, where they serve premium Wagyu beef shabu. They also have all-you-can-eat nigiri sushi and items with caviar. They specialize in Japanese-style hot pot and have fresh vegetables and seafood at the self-service area. And if you're a milk tea lover, you can get unlimited servings of oolong milk tea. They have two pricing tiers on their menu, gold for $78 per person and diamond for $88. Mikia is an all-you-can-eat Wagyu shabu restaurant in Temple City. They are famous for their A5 Wagyu beef, which is high quality and tasty. You can choose different meal plans at Mikia. The Silver Plan gives you lots of food choices, and you can try things like Wagyu beef and even special dishes like foie gras. You'll enjoy this restaurant if you love high quality meat and shabu, but expect to pay at least $70 or more depending on the plan you choose. Meeting in Alhambra is an underrated Korean and Chinese fusion barbecue spot that serves up high quality meat. Their meats are marinated perfectly, and the Wagyu fried rice might be worth the trip there on its own. At $30.99 for lunch, you'll feel like you're eating at a high-end barbecue spot without the high price tag. The only downside is that it's not built for large parties. But other than that, enjoy the good food, low crowds, and good ventilation. Chubby Cattle in Monterey Park is a standout destination for an all-you-can-eat experience, especially with their diamond plan at $88 per person. They offer an array of A5 Wagyu cuts and seafood delights. The beef tongue and the A5 cubes are particularly amazing for their melt-in-your-mouth quality. The experience is rounded off with refreshing drinks and delicious sherbets where you really feel like you get your money's worth. While the price is on the higher side, the quality and variety make it a worthwhile visit for those seeking a premium dining experience. HP BBQ and Hot Pot is a great and fun experience in San Gabriel. You only pay $35.99 for the lowest tier of all you can eat on the weekend. The items are all self-served in the fridge area and like other all you can eat Hot Pot places, you can make your own sauces. The meats are all delicious and they have premium seafood choices like crab. If you like getting all-you-can-eat hot pot or BBQ, this is a great spot with tons and tons of choices. Xiaolong Khan is a famous hot pot chain in Alhambra that specializes in Chinese hot pot. Their interior makes it feel like you're eating in a Chinese palace. Scan the QR code with your phone to order and the server will bring your food to you. They have a self-service sauce and snack station for an additional $3. The food quality is good, but don't miss out on the hot pot fried rice. Shalom Khan is a must for spicy hot pot lovers. Happy Ace Hot Pot in San Gabriel is an affordable all-you-can-eat experience for just $25 per person. Unlike other hot pot places where you might spend upwards of $50 per person, here you get both affordability and variety. Choices include seafood, meats, vegetables, and even a tempting chocolate fountain. And don't miss out on the buffet section with cooked foods like chicken wings and fried items. So if you're looking for an all-you-can-eat hot pot place in San Gabriel Valley that won't break the bank, but still offers a fun dining experience with a big selection of foods, Happy Ace Hot Pot is the place to go. Although we don't recommend their all-you-can-eat dim sum. Dim Sum Express in Monterey Park is a great spot for quick and affordable dim sum. It's a small window where you can order individual items, perfect for takeaway. They don't have seating, so it's all about grabbing your food and going. For $6.59, you can get a steaming box of mixed dim sum like we did. The highlights include flavorful shumai, which is jumbo sized, and turnip cake that's fried just right. It's a budget friendly option and there's parking in the back, making it super convenient. Dim Sum Express is unique because it's one of the only places where you can order one single item. This makes it perfect if you just want a quick snack or a variety of different tastes. If you're in Monterey Park, Dim Sum Express is the place to go. Bistro 1968 is an elevated dim sum spot in San Gabriel with items you won't likely see at other dim sum restaurants, such as German pork knuckle, Wagyu beef noodles, and pumpkin mochi bowls. Expect to spend a little bit more here based on the higher quality and the extensive menu. We spent about $90 here for the two of us, but we enjoyed it thoroughly. Sea Harbor and Rosemead is Chef Tony's first US restaurant. It's a mix of traditional and elevated dim sum items. Here you can find hagao with squid ink topped with gold flakes, white frost custard buns, and truffle shumai. Our favorite item might be the salty egg yolk lava bun, which is fluffy, sweet, and salty. Sea Harbor is a local favorite. If you don't come here early, you're pretty much guaranteed that you'll have to spend some time waiting for a table, so come early. 
Chef Tony in Marner Park opened in 2023 and is a fancy spot for dim sum with unique dishes. They have special items like squid ink, shrimp dumplings with gold leaf, and pork shu mai with black truffle. The prices match their quality and atmosphere. The best dish might be the squid ink shrimp dumpling. It's soft and has a nice truffle flavor. Another good choice is the turnip cake with exo sauce. It's spicy, soft, and crispy and not too greasy all at the same time. For dessert, we tried the white egg tart and rabbit shaped pudding. Both were not too sweet and a great ending to the meal. Chef Tony is perfect if you want to try fancy dim sum, especially as a gathering for any special occasion. At Katsu Sando in San Gabriel, they make a special shaved ice, or as it's called in Japanese, kakigori. It's not like regular shaved ice because they use ice that's actually flown in from Japan. But the best part is the flavor. When we went, we had their mango flavored kakigori that tasted sweet and fruity. It was topped with a fluffy cream that was light and enhanced the flavor even more. They have seasonal flavors, so make sure to check their Instagram to stay up to date. It's perfect for hot days and so good that it might be the best shaved ice or snow in all of SGV. Graham Cafe, known for its souffle pancakes, is a must visit for pancake lovers. Located in Monterey Park, this cafe offers a cute and cafe-esque vibe, perfect for a relaxed dining experience. Apart from the pancakes, Graham Cafe also serves a variety of entrees and drinks. The food menu includes items like chicken karage, which is crispy and flavorful, and Japanese eel unagi, which is well prepared with just the right amount of sauce. But the highlight for us was the mango pomelo sago seasonal souffle pancake. It's fluffy, not overly sweet, and the mango is ripe and flavorful. Other options like egg yolk creme brulee matcha and taro sago pancakes are also worth trying. Graham Cafe is the perfect spot for those looking to enjoy a leisurely meal with delicious and unique pancakes as the centerpiece. Half and Half Good Old Time in San Gabriel is an old school Taiwanese diner. It's perfect for a quick, tasty meal. They offer a special dish called the Cold Combination for only $10. This dish is a great deal because you get a lot of food for a small price. It has tofu, seaweed, and pig ear. It's simple but super good, especially if you like cilantro. Be sure to try their Taiwanese milk tea that isn't super sweet, very creamy, and has strong tea flavor. They have other toppings, but we really like their perfectly cooked boba. Boba is quite expensive nowadays, and this one here might be the cheapest and best value anywhere. Half and Half Good Old Time is a great place to go if you want to try Taiwanese food without spending a lot of money. Jim's Bakery in Monterey Park is a standout destination for those seeking the perfect egg tart. Known for its popularity and high ratings, Jim's Bakery offers a traditional egg tart that is a favorite in SGV. The regular egg tart at Jim's Bakery strikes the perfect balance between sweetness and the rich, eggy flavor. The puff pastry is airy, making the tart light yet fulfilling. The other egg tart choice that they have is the Portuguese style, which is a firmer tart and has a creamier brulee-like egg filling. Egg tart lovers need to go to Jim's Bakery in Monterey Park. Huge Tree Pastry in Monterey Park specializes in Taiwanese food and is popular for its Taiwanese breakfast items such as fontuan, soy milk, and dumplings. For those who don't know, fontuan is a sticky rice roll with various fillings on the inside like Chinese pickles, egg, Chinese donut, meat floss, and more. There's also a sweet version which has Chinese donut and brown sugar for those who have the sweet tooth. If you haven't had homemade soy milk, you must try it here at Huge Tree. It's to go only so you can expect to get it quickly and be on your way. Or if you're in a hurry, you can call ahead. Dai Ho serves up traditional Taiwanese food in Temple City. They have a variety of cold dishes that you can order at the counter, but their specialty is their beef noodle soup. The beef is so tender that you barely need to chew it, and the broth has a very light and deep beefy flavor. For those who want a non-soup noodle dish, you can get the dandan noodles with spicy sesame sauce. Both of these dishes are under $20 with big portions. Laoshi Noodle House is a bib gourmand restaurant located in Arcadia that serves up delicious noodles and dumplings from China's Xi'an province. We tried their famous wife's special noodle made with mushrooms, bamboo shoots, pork, and knife cut noodles. We also tried the shrimp and pork dumplings, and they might be the most flavorful boiled dumplings in all of SGV. And if you like chili oil, they have it available for you to spice up your dishes. Dumpling in West Covina has a long wait time on weekends, but typically shorter than the ones you'll find at Din Tai Fung's. They specialize in Chinese dumplings and noodles. But people flock to this restaurant because compared to Din Tai Fung, their portions are bigger and the prices are a bit lower. The food quality is good and tasty. We particularly love their shrimp fried rice and their cucumber dish. 
Beast Your Nas is a former Michelin starred fine dining Chinese restaurant in Temple City. Items here are meant to be shared and are higher priced due to their extreme detail put into cooking each dish. Their specialty is a Peking duck, which might be the best in all of LA. But you've got to order it a minimum of two days in advance because they only serve seven per day. Be sure to mention to your server that you would like the duck soup made with the duck bones for an additional $20, or you can get it as a stir fry. For first timers, the server will teach you how to wrap the Peking duck. You've never had Chinese food quite like this before. Prince Dumpling and Rosemead serves just about everything Din Tai Fung has and more. Their portions are bigger, the prices are lower, and they serve some tasty Chinese dishes. But like Din Tai Fung, they also have a window that shows their staff wrapping soup dumplings. If you want a dining experience that's similar to Din Tai Fung, but don't want to wait nearly as long, check out Prince Dumpling. We'll probably never stop talking about Kang Kang Food Court in Alhambra. They might have the best deal and most delicious single item in all of SGV, their Shenzhen Bao. These aren't your ordinary buns. For about $12, you can get Kang Kang's famous pan-fried buns oozing with juicy pork and bursting with flavor. The magic is in the mix. A crispy golden bottom, a soft doughy exterior, and the most tender pork filling. It's a delightful combo of slightly oily, a tad sweet, and next level delicious. They also serve up a variety of dishes from tofu and eggplant to even fried chicken. And here's a pro tip. Grab their three item combo with rice and soup for only $8. If you're all about delicious, affordable eats, and don't need fancy frills, Kang Cake Food Court is your go-to. You might pass by Jiannan Spring in Alhambra without knowing that they have some amazing Chinese dishes. Their tea smoked duck buns and braised pork with abalone might be two of the most delicious dishes in all of SGV. Their cold avocado preserved egg salad is a dish we've never seen in any other restaurant. Top restaurant in Pasadena is a spot that you'll never suspect has some of the most delicious Indonesian and Hawaiian food. It's a small mom and pop shop that really feels like a true hole in the wall place. One of their best dishes is the Indonesian fried rice. It's got a bit of sweetness, a bit charred, which is just right for fried rice. The chicken katsu is another must try. It's always cooked perfectly, juicy and flavorful. Portion sizes are definitely generous. They even have a Spam Masubi with thick slices of Spam. Top Restaurant is a great choice if you're looking for delicious, affordable food in Pasadena. Mm -hmm.